Well, I've had this little Phoenix Arms HP-22 for quite a long time. It's actually one of the first guns, if not the first gun, that I ever did a YouTube video on. And um, it's time to, unfortunately, have a little bit of major work done on it. Uh, over the past couple videos, you've seen me have this thing and talk about how reliable it's been. And it has been. It's been really great. Um, I'm not sure how many rounds I have through it. Um, I really don't know. I know it's over 2,000. Um, I've gone through several of the big buckets of Remington Golden Bucket just through this little gun. And the only things I've had to replace are um, the recoil spring. Every maybe a couple hundred rounds, 500 to 1,000 or so, it would kind of get weak. And then uh, I started, ha started having a couple issues with it. So I replaced the firing pin and the hammer. Um, the firing pin didn't actually need, need to be replaced, but I did find on the hammer that there was a little spot in here that was wearing into the hammer. So I don't think it was making as good a contact with the firing pin. Um, this is a gun that you cannot dry fire. And what will happen is um, right inside here, up at the top, the firing pin will actually damage this part of the barrel. And it will kind of peen it down and get in the way of chambering around. So if you dry fire your gun a lot, and then you notice you're having uh, trouble chambering around, definitely take a look at that. You can fix it with a round file. So now the issue that I've run into is um, I've got a crack in the slide. Let me see if the camera will focus on it. So right there, you can see that crack running down from where the edge of the extractor is. And I have no idea where this crack came from. I don't remember seeing it the last time I shot it. This has probably not been shot in nine months to a year. It's just been sitting in the safe and I've just had other stuff going on. Um, but yeah, so we've got a little crack going on there. So let's take it apart and look at it on the inside. I already emailed the customer support and uh, sent them a few pictures of it and they asked me to send back the slide and the slide would be replaced. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to see the crack on the inside. Yeah, there you go. Uh, well, you guys may not be able to see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you can see it right there. So there's the crack on the inside. And there's the crack on the outside. So it is a pretty bad crack. It's just about all the way down to the bottom. Like I said, I don't know how long it's been there. Or when exactly um, it may have happened. So we can go ahead and take a look on the inside kind of see how some of the wear is in here. I have not done any work to this gun really besides the parts that I said I replaced. It seems like this edge here has uh, been flattened out quite a bit. This edge here is folding over a little bit as well, but yeah, this edge has definitely come across and folded over. I mean, you can see how much of that screwdriver I can get underneath the side. And it's just, you know, Cheap material. That's how they make this gun close to a hundred bucks. So whatever. A couple thousand rounds I'm totally happy with. Um, as for accuracy, the gun isn't very accurate. Um, it is what it is. Definitely not going to win any uh, accuracy competitions with it. If you plan on shooting it a lot, grab a couple of these recoil springs for like three dollars. You can get a whole bunch of them. Um, but we'll take a look at the top of the barrel and I'll kind of show you what gets messed up from dry firing. So right up here, right up in the top, you can see that little thing that would bend down into the chamber. And I've taken a round file several times to fix that. This is a gun that I let new people shoot when I take them to the range. So it does get dry fired, whatever. A brand new barrel is like 25 bucks. So um, as a training aid, this is a great little pistol. It does have an external safety and a hammer on it, uh, which makes it nice uh, for teaching people how to shoot. So all in all, pretty happy with this. We're going to go ahead and send the slide off and uh, see what we get as a replacement. I just got the slide back in from Phoenix Arms today. Uh, it's been about one month since I sent it off, kind of with a note that, um, you know, said what was going on. And I uh, showed you guys the crack in the slide. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what they sent us back in the package here. So 
don't see any kind of paperwork. Um, but there we go. Looks like we got a slide and a recoil spring. Uh, recoil spring, that's, uh, I'm glad they send that out because that's a pretty common part that fails in these guns. It's recommended that you replace it uh, relatively often. Um, slide looks good. Let me get this uh, spring out here. Go ahead and compare it to the spring that's in the gun now. Okay. Now, let me see. Let's take a look. The finish is a little bit different. Um, a little more metallic, flaky kind of look to it. It was more of a matte finish before. Well, it was brown <laughs> when I sent it in. But uh, it was more of a matte finish before that. I'm just trying to see if this is uh, a brand new part or a used part, and I think it's brand new. You can see um, on the extractor here a little bit of, let me see if this is, it's like overspray almost. I don't quite know what that is. Um, let me see if the camera will pick it up. Right around this edge, so you can see the extractor is black. And then right up here in the top, we have some kind of like, uh, I don't know what this stuff is. It's coming off really easily. It's like a dust or something, maybe? Um, I really don't know. It looks like paint, almost. Like, it looks like this paint from the slide. I think they have changed their paint, for sure. Looks like uh, the rear sight is off to the left a little bit. No big deal. I mean, I'm sure we'll adjust it. Let me wipe a rag down in this channel in the slide. And uh, we'll see if this is carbon buildup or what this is. There's some kind of dark color down in here. Well, it doesn't come up on the rag. So I don't think it's carbon buildup. You can clearly see... Um, paint overspray, differing from the color of the actual metal inside here. It's been so long since I've seen a brand new HP-22 inside, so I don't have a whole lot, you know, really to compare it to. Firing pin in there looks good, so, yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, kind of what I expected. Take a look at the recoil spring. Yeah, we'll go ahead and change this one out. It's a little bit longer than the one that's been in here for a while. So. So, a little bit rough. I mean, this is kind of how the HP-22 was out of the box with that hang up there. But a little bit of oil and just uh, running it is really all you should need. But, um, yep, there we go. Take this thing to the range and shoot it some. I probably won't have to report back anything. Um, that should be pretty much it. So, good, I guess, pretty de decent experience with the uh, warranty department. It would have been nice if they would have put something in, in the box, like some kind of, I don't know, paper saying something, or maybe like a receipt of exchange. Um, but, it is what it is. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.